The next feature of SketchUp we will go over is called Layers. Layering is a more advanced feature which is used to keep your model organized so as you get more components added to it, it is easier to work with. Let's start very quickly by creating three 10 by 10 blocks. 10 feet by 10 feet. Let's group them right away and copy them by grabbing the corner, pressing control, moving it down approximately, let's type in 20 feet, enter, and now press times 3, which will give us different types of blocks. Now we want to change each block slightly so that they are easy to identify from one another. So I'm going to go into each of the groups and just change each block so that is slightly different than the others and easy to identify. This doesn't have to be complicated. Just any change will do. Don't forget that now that since these are groups you have to double click to get into edit mode each time in order to change them. You can keep your blocks approximately like I have or some slight variation. Once you have your four groups set up, go up top and make sure that you have the layers toolbar across the top. If you don't, you can go into your view toolbars menu and scroll down so that you have the layers toolbar checked. At this point I also want to go to the window menu and also click on the layers window. You'll notice the layers window pops up. I'll move it over to the right hand side and you can double click it to hide it when you don't need to use it. For now I'm going to keep it open. The concept of layers is very simple. You can put different objects on different layers and then hide them when you don't need to see them. Think of layers as a piece of paper. Each piece of paper or each layer can house one of these blocks and when hidden that block will go away. Right now since we started our drawing you'll look up in the corner and you see layer 0 as the only layer present. Layer 0 is the default layer and if left unchanged all the objects you put in your drawing will be on layer 0. Let's go ahead and press our plus sign and we'll name our first layer as triangle. Now a couple things to notice about the window. The checkbox over here means visible, meaning that the, the layer that is checked is currently visible. The little black dot next to layer is the active layer. The active layer is the layer that when you draw on the object will move to. So right now all four of our objects are located on the layer 0 because that's the layer that we drew them on. We can very easily move the different objects to the different layers. So let's take our triangle and you'll notice there up here in the layer box it went yellow. When you click on an object in the layer box it will tell you what layer it is currently on. If I select a triangle and come to my drop down menu, it now gives me the option to put it on the triangle layer. So now if I click onto another block, it goes back to layer 0, and if I click on the triangle, it says triangle. The nice part about this is now if I don't want to see the triangle at this point, I can click the box and it turns invisible. Let's do this with the next block. We will create a layer and call it step for the second block and now let's move this to the step layer so once again I'll select the group and change it to the step layer and you'll notice as you switch they each change I'll create two more layers I'll call this one L L shape and I'll also create another one and we'll just call this one arc go ahead and put each of those two shapes on the corresponding layers.
With all our layers created and our shapes on the corresponding layer, let's look at the layer window just a little closer. If we quick on invisible, so each of these shapes will go away. Now you'll notice the only layer left is layer 0. It has a black dot to tell us that it's the active layer with the visible checkbox next to it. If I go to uncheck the active layer 0, it tells me you cannot hide the current layer. I cannot hide the layer because that's the layer that is active right now. Let's go ahead and move the active layer to the triangle and then uncheck layer 0 and you'll notice that we are able to hide layer 0. The only thing on layer 0 was Frank, our mannequin, and you see he goes away. But again, when the black dot is next to the layer, it cannot be hidden. So we'll bring all of our layers back, and we'll highlight layer 0 once again. Now grouping is very important for this. If you do not have objects that are grouped together, it is very difficult to make sure that they, all of them are on the same layer. But what if we want to draw an object on a new layer instead of having it to move it after the fact? What we'll need to do is create another layer, and I'll name this layer Circle. Now, if I were to draw the circle right now, what layer would it be on? If you said layer 0, you would be correct. But that's not where we want it to be. We want to move the little black dot down to the circle layer. And now if I draw my circle and I push pull it up, because the little black dot was next to the active layer, that's where, that's the layer that the circle will be on. So we'll make this a group. And there you have it. Now, even if I mistakenly drew this on the wrong layer, I could always move it like you saw before by selecting it and then coming up here to my layer window and selecting the right layer. Go through, make sure you have each object on the correct layer and the easiest way to do this is to activate layer 0 and just go down the line making sure each one goes away. If they have all gone away you've successfully created this particular part of the lesson. Once the file is completed, we want to show all of our layers, get them into a good angle so we can see, close that our, keep our layers window open, and we will submit this to the Dropbox as an exported, as an exported 2D graphic. Once it is saved in the Dropbox, you are complete.